We don't understand that, but you see sometimes people walk like this, you know, we have even wrinkles here, you know. So if I walk like this, and we're, or, you know, whatever, we have sad impression or whatever on, on their face, so brain catches the, the mimics of your face, and it gives signal to your brain, and brain starts to send out the hormones which are related to these mimics, you know. So more you laugh, even if you smile walk in the street, the more simple it brings. Hmm. You know? Yeah. Nice. Nou, ik ga ik ook graag de anders deze. Als zij zij leeft in de wereld, bij het point, zijn ze hij bekrijgt dat ze zijn een masker of zo een zaken. Als de mooie, de ga, you're explaining things. I want to say something, and it's you 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 really know how to explain things well. It's wonderful, but but I want to say that. What you want to say something? Yemenite. No more Yemenite. No. Okay, so that means. That's it. Uh, <laughs> Mina, Vincent, okay? Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm saying it's interesting how so many people, and, and especially smart people, fall into a little bit of an issue with science. Because smart people always explain, because they know science, and so they can explain, they explain to me that how it happens is that the the mimics of the face, the Im uh, movement of the, and the way gives a signal to the brain and the brain produces certain chemicals that create you to be sad or so on. This is the scientific way of explaining a human being that it's chemicals. A human being is, what's a chemical? A chemical is just a movement. What's a chemical? What's a chemical reaction? Hor hormones. hormones. What's, a, what's a hormone? What's a, what's Some a, chemical reaction in your okay. body. So what's, you... so what's a chemical? Like people sometimes don't know what's a chemical reaction. It feels like some kind of a mystery, mysterious thing. A chemical reaction happens in your brain and it changes. Chemical reaction means a movement of tiny little pieces. That's it. But that's all. All in the world, tiny little pieces. That's it. Chemical reaction means that there is a certain kind of movement of a piece. That's it. So that's all. So now the question is, when you're telling me that something happened, something moved, and I'm happy now. How, what does that mean? No, blue. So no, uh, wait, wait. Yeah. Because I understand very clearly that we are not having emotions through our body. The body is just movement of pieces. The whole body how many ways you could twist it or turn it, the end, it's a movement of little pieces. Movement of little pieces is not pain, is not pleasure, is not emotions. It can be because it's something else. Movement of pieces is just a movement of pieces, however you slice it or dice it. So that's why I know that there's a soul. There's a whole different, just like when, imagine when, when, when you have a, think about a beautiful wedding. You want, imagine a beautiful wedding with people dressed beautifully, dancing, beautiful music, music that your love is playing, and somebody walks in, everybody stands up all of a sudden, ah, like, and they're standing mid here. Stop. You had now a movie where you experienced, you saw, where was it? Where did it happen? Where in your head you actually think neurons put together an image and you have an eye that sees it? You have to realize that our, us, a me, is not physical. We're not, thoughts is not physical. Thoughts is not, this moved and that moved and what? Movement, no. Thoughts, emotions are, we are a consciousness. Consciousness is not a physical thing. So that's all I wanted to say, meaning that when we explain how we are happy, it goes, sure, the body is a drone. I'm using I, the real I, is using the body as a drone and getting information and playing it. So we think we're here, but we're not even here, but because we're in no place. It's not a place, place. So, so that's why I, I, when I see someone explaining, the, explaining away their whole existence of, of happiness, of emotions, that something moves, that, that, that there was a yeah, movement. That's true, but you, you notice yourself that there are people much happier and there are people less happier. You know, there are really good things and there are better things, really. I love what you're doing because you're, you're doing it in a different there, direction. There are, there are no, 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 right. Keep, keep, so that, body. yes, sure. To learn, to learn the, the, the Torah and everything. Yes. And but you see happier rabbis and less happier rabbis. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we all, but they all do the same stuff. 
you know? No, so, so it could be, it could be that, look, what I'm saying is two things. First of all, yes, phys the, the body is set up in a way that it gives signals to the consciousness and the consciousness made rules how the, the so, okay, if this happens, then we're gonna feel like you this. You are right. On, on, only there are certain, uh, everything is atoms and everything, if you break it to the quantum physics, and, yeah, yeah. It's, it's all, it's all, it's very so atoms, deep. Atoms, atoms, no, it's and what? Very deep. What's that deep? Of it's not deep. Atoms, Yes. It's a combination of yes. some atoms. What? There, 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 are, there are physics and there are chemistry as well. So all actually made from chemical elements and from atoms. But the combination probably of some things do have in, do impact the person. So well, for example, less. Uh, but but sure. But you have to first agree that the person is not a chemical. It's just not a movement of pieces. He's a human. He's, he's a consciousness. He's, he's chemical not, lab. Not just... Chemical lab. Laboratory. But but let me ask you, chemical is only movement of pieces. So you're telling me that the whole that movement of pieces you could explain a concept of pleasure? How? What are you telling me? You're telling me that the human being is just a movement of pieces. So if it's a movement of pieces, how do you where where do you have pleasure? Where do you have pain? Movement of pieces is pleasure for whom? It has to be someone. There's something that's not just movement. Movement of pieces, however you turn it this. Imagine you have tiny pieces, trillion, trillion pieces moving around in space. You think it could create this reality of pleasure? Like how? Movement? What's what's it? It's just moving. It's just moving. But you That's know, it. when you move it very hard, you get you get fire. You know, so you know, like a stone and a you know, stone to stone, very quick, and you get fire. So, so apparently, some movement creates different reactions. But you know, like no, uh, let's, let's wait, 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 wait. <laughs> the movement, the movement of the fire is just another. What what happens? Another movement. Another movement. Fire is also a movement. So, so you see the difference. So it different. Yes, we understand that. But you were talking about now creating a new reality called pleasure. That's not a movement of but pieces. Look, look, you, you, we know movement of pieces is not that. It, where does it come about to have a, a, a feeling? Movement of pieces, how does movement relate to feeling? Look, it's uh, not... Look, Mayor, what do I think about that? You know, we, 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 our purpose is to, 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 to serve Hashem with all our soul. But we have not only soul, but also a body. And apparently the, our body is that, is that movement that you're explaining to, but it's a very coordinated movement. It's you know? a drone, it's a drone. It's Look, a drone. It's but, a drone. It's a, but, I use, a, just like I'm using I, who is not a body, is using this, but because all the information comes through this, I, st I am mistaking and I think I'm here. I'm just using this. But just like, you know, imagine if you would be laying in a place you wouldn't know that you're laying and all your sensory perceptions, your ears will be connected to a drone that's actually moving around. So your sight, taste, touch, everything is based on what the drone is moving. You are going to think you're here. You're not even going to know you're here because where, what are you going to think? Where are you? You wake up, you don't know that you're staying and they did all these things to you and it's moving, you're seeing and you're according to a movement. So, so that's where you are. That's what happens to us. We have a we have a reality that's not physical. We're thinking not physically and do but but we're using this drone for these kind of perceptions, and because we're using it, everything is based on this angle from this point of view, we think we're here, and that's why I think I'm here. Right. You, I also think here. you're here, that's why. <laughs> that's why I want food here, not there, because I'm not there. It's <laughs> such a coincidence. <laughs> you're such a good humor. But you know, well, uh, I can understand your, your perspective, perspective and perception, but what about, uh, again, but back what, to science? I, think, I just want to have one, one oh. yeah, a Coke, because like, you know. We don't sell Coke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me K. <laughs> I like the conversation. You know. So what about uh, those scientists who say, I have an opinion on that, but what, I want to know your opinions. <laughs> what about the scientists who say that dopamine level, dopamine level, that so the, a hormone which makes you happy, that uh, it can be gene gene genetically, uh, uh, yeah, genetical problem, you know, that 
in your DNA, it's like from generation to generation, people have not enough dopamine in their body. Yes. You know, so what? How can the, how can it be genetically be, you know, like constructed in your DNA? I think, I think. What's the, what's the question? What's the, the problem? The, how, how, how can you explain that? I'll explain it. I, I can also explain it. So, 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 so do you explain? I think because because uh, because of certain life uh, uh, habits from generation to generation, like parents teach their children to live in certain way, to think in certain way, and that living in certain way, eating in certain way, and uh, thinking in certain way from generation to generation is giving through and it's just nothing, it has nothing to do with physical, but with just the way of it, they view life. And most of the parents, most of the children view, view life through the glasses of their parents. Okay, oops, um, that's a good point. Dopamine, you can you can really increase, you know, by. But but but. Look look look, look at your parties videos. It's a really pure dopamine, serotonin, dopamine. And you say that's not chemical. It's chemical. <laughs> but, but but let me tell you something. Sure. Now let me give you first my answer to your question, my explanation. Then I'll tell you why I see it differently than you. But first I'll tell you why I see it. Sure. The fact is, no doubt, that the physical body, the physical drone, has a, a consequence, has an effect on, on this consciousness. Meaning, because that's what the deal, the setup. I have, I am a consciousness, and I have this drone, and the information that this drone gives me, if this drone has in its computer something messed up, it gives me all kinds of weird information, And but I have a system, I'm going according to this information, and that's how I operate, because that's the setup that the consciousness created. You know, I'm a consciousness, and then Hashem, let's say, let's look at it from this perspective for a second. It, it, it's a little bit, the words are a little different, but I'm making it easier as I say this. Hashem said, walks over to me and says, you want a drone? Hey, you know, people, they have these drones, you know these guys, you, you met them. They have these drones, they have, and, and then, and the deal, what's the game? The game is, and he said, and then I said, yeah, but you know what happens? All these people, they start thinking they're, part, they're in the drone, and they, for, and they live in that reality. Instead of enjoying it, they are, they are, are, losing themselves and th thinking they're the drone, really, and then, that I don't want to do. So I say, thanks, but no thanks, because, I, so, so God tells me, you know, you will make different. You'll come here and you will, will understand that it's only a drone and that you're, you're not part of it and that you're just but that's using very, it. very difficult to, 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 to think this way, to feel this way, because all our, our life, is, uh, is interaction of different groups, it's social psychology, you know, yes. we're all affected by that. Yes. You either belong to a group, like it's always been in, 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 in Judaism and in every group, you know, now we also, it's, we have more different group, it was, you know, even within one group, there are different subgroups and everything, so how can you be that individual that is uh, disconnected from the reality, disconnected from, from uh, wow. norms, values, how can you be this? You, it's impossible. Right. You will be. You will be affected, and you will be. Your life will be shaped and formed because that's how it meant to be. Uh, uh, now you said that's how it meant to be. That's already pushing it because that's how it is. First of all, maybe that's what needs to change. That that's the only way things are going to change if we just not. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we don't do everything without the norms because then it's just copy paste, copy paste the whole time. Yeah. And you know, so but, but in this era of Judaism, it's pretty much totalitarianism. Totalitarianism. Why? You know, because it's, it's forces. And it's not forces. It's very. Uh, it, it's an old strict system where you have to apply to the certain norms, rules, and this certain certain system. You know, uh, and you know, uh, uh, modesty. You know, there is just, it's just you. You can't just remove the drone. You know, you are in the drone, and there are different drones which you have afraid, But you you are not in an individual drone. You are drone. You are you are a set of drones who fly together. You know, where you, you, you fly together, you know, in the older times he was miscommunicated, you know, if you think like other drone, like for example Spinoza, he thought I'm an individual drone, you know, so he didn't say like that, fly away then. <laughs> um, you know, this is, how, this is how, how from my perspective life is. But talking again, again, coming back to humor, sense of humor, and reviewing the view, there are people just who have, 
you know. But nothing... wait, wait. But let's let, let's first let's first say you know. Let me see if, uh, how I understand your issue, your point. You were saying that that fact is a. We're living a world that we have to fact realize that fit there are other people group. around fit in some group, and for that, my answer is, I, I, I'm I'm ha I'm making my own group. <laughs> 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 that's that's why I'm making. Yeah, me too. That's the whole idea. That's the whole idea. When I say group, it's my app because I'm creating an app or developing an app, and the idea is that when we say group, we mean that action, my, my interaction with you, a good, nice, valuable interaction, should create value not only in this conversation but other people would say, okay, you know, I like what he's saying. I like what they're saying. Let me connect with him. Let me let me give him another experience. That becomes a community where people, a group. What's the, what is what do we mean when we say group? When I say group, I mean where people are enjoying each other's interaction, each other's differences, under seeing different viewpoints, and enjoying the new mix. Helping to, to, to change. Even yes, like, like like now we're talking, we're enjoying. You're telling me a point. I'm seeing, hearing your point. What you said with humor, I do. You know, I love you know, whatever you're saying. But saying I love what you said about humor it was beautiful and. And I'm very into that because my name is Yitzchak, and Yitzchak is about laughing. Because right. when, he, when when he was the 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 b'sura that he's going to be is going to be born, both Avram and Soda laughed. Yes. It was very important. Obviously, that they did it. It was like it was the biggest b'sida. And then when when he was born, Sura says, "Call Ashamai Yitzchak. Whoever's going to listen, that are, are going to laugh. Like really." Someone's born late at the nineties, you don't laugh, you say, wow, laughing. She pushed it into laughter because because laughter is easy, easy. you accept it. Right. Looks like that the Jewish nation, the concept that of this we just discussed actually, that there is a reality that's not physical, that's that's outside. No nobody says it. Nobody gets it. I mean people somehow live in this idea that we are our bodies. That's the science, that's the world, right? So when Eden came around and, and, and we're going to say, but Avrilavini said, we're going to have a nation of people who are going to understand that there is a concept of beyond, of Ein Sof, of, of Atta, that really it is. In order to let it even start being accepted, first you laugh about it. You say, like I was telling you the other day, that in our circle, sometimes you say something, oh, the rabbi is coming, rabbi, rabbi. And from a joke, it becomes real. So first it starts with a joke. That's how it had to slide in. Yitzchak, that's how it slid in. So you were also saying that you let things slide. If laughing, you're saying, ah, okay, yes, it's good, it's okay. You let it in. And you know, you let it pass. So that's how, that's how, that's why. And then, and then when Suda saw Yishmuel, she saw the Pasuk says Yishmuel, Yishmuel Matzachek. She said, oh, oh, send them away. No one knows, no one says exactly what he do, what's Matzachek? Matzachek means he took over Yitzchak's concept of laughing. And that's why the Pasuk says there, that um, he's, he's not gonna uh, be a uh, here, here, it means a uh, Yorush, uh, in Bni, in Yitzchak. She, she has him Bni, she has only one son, but she has him Yitzchak. My, I'm the Yitzchak. My son is the laugher. Because, and then, and then also later when, 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 when he was by the king of Plishtim and, and he was success that he, the king saw him laughing with his wife and he knew that, you know, also a very interesting word, Matzachak. And the whole word Matzachak is almost never used only by Yitzchak. Only by that story. So it's a very, it's a very, very important word. So, and, and my name is that, so I'm very identified with that. And you're, you're, you said it so easily. You got it. Because you, you are it. You're doing it. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, nice. thank you very much. Enjoy yeah. your soup. Before okay. Before it, it gets colder. Before it gets colder. A bit colder.